Here's the weapon guide for the P250. It's a real interesting pistol. It's available for both of the teams. And we've actually seen professional players choosing to use this pistol over the Deagle and the likes in recent tournaments. The gun's pretty cheap at 500 bucks, especially when we show you how much damage it does. It holds 13 bullets per magazine, times one penetration, and the default kill award, which I'll talk about in a minute. The P250 has this feeling that it's really strong when you shoot it, and that's true. And spraying with it also isn't too hard to manage. I definitely recommend shooting in two to three bullet bursts though, when at full range, because it remains accurate, but that third bullet is a little bit unpredictable, so just be aware of that. Remember that pistols, when equipped, make you run slower than with your knife. So the P250 allows you to run at 240 units per second, where with the knife, you'll run at a full 250. Back to the kill reward, you'll be rewarded 300 bucks for each frag that you get with the P250. Looking at the damages now, at 1000 units without head armor, the P250 deals a one-shot kill, which will obviously remain the same even at closer distances. However, a headshot at the same distance with head armor does only about 85 damage, so not nearly as effective, but at close range, it will be a kill. A long range shot to the body with armor does about 25 damage, and without armor, about 28. Close range shots to the body with armor do about 30, and without armor, about 33, so ideally it's all really about the same. A wall shot to the body without armor does about 27 per shot, and with armor, about 20. Thanks for watching. My name is Cake Builder. Get ready for a bunch more weapon guides at ESEANews.com.